tierra Welcome to lesson two of using gizmos for visual debugging in Unity. In this lesson, we are going to actually start to get our gizmos to render in the scene view on our test object. So we left off in lesson one um, where we needed to add one more method to our particular gizmo demo script. Okay, so I'm going to jump over to that script over here in mono develop. And what we need to do is we need to include a void on draw gizmos method. All right. So let's take a look at um, what the on draw gizmos function does over here in the unity scripting reference. So I'm going to just search for on draw gizmos and you'll see that we get an model behavior on draw gizmos function. All right. So Implement on draw gizmos if you want to draw gizmos that are also pickable and always drawn. This means that we can provide our own custom ways of allowing users to pick objects without having to use the hierarchy view over here. And uh, that's really one of the core um, elements to gizmos. They're also really great for uh, debugging your code, uh, looking for directions and uh, vectors and stuff like that, positions. Okay. But by putting in this on draw gizmos, what we can do is we can actually utilize Unity's built-in gizmo drawing without having to write any code besides including that one function. All right, so you notice that in the scene view up here, we have this gizmos dropdown. And you'll notice under scripts that our gizmo demo script is now available for us. And we can actually assign it an icon. So we can actually use one of the default Unity icons. So I'm just going to pick one of these guys there. Okay, so now this object actually has a gizmo attached to it. And what this does is it allows us to actually pick the object without having to pick the object over here in the hierarchy panel. So this is really cool. And it's also got the name of the object. So if I were to change this to cool gizmo, you'll see it says cool gizmo. So a really quick way to allow artists and designers or whoever's using um, your objects in, in a level to quickly pick them without having to search through a large hierarchy of objects over here in the hierarchy view. All right. So you notice that if we remove this void on draw gizmos, save and recompile. <coughs> All right. You'll notice that, um, well, because we already had one, let me actually set this to none there. All right. You'll notice that um, we don't have access to the actual script anymore, right? Because we haven't actually included it in the gizmo drawing section of Unity. So when Unity compiles these scripts, it's looking for this particular function. So the void on draw gizmos. Just undo that a couple times there. All right. So now that we have that back, we can let it recompile and we can utilize the gizmos again. So we can give it our, let's do a red icon this time. And now we can actually have cool gizmo right there. So now we have a little icon. Well, the cool thing about this is that we can also include a texture. So you notice that we have a couple of other type of defaults in here. So we have diamonds and circles, all right, with no name on it. But we can also include other by hitting this other button down there. We can include a texture. OK, so this is how we can start to create a custom gizmo and that's selectable. All right. So what I want to do is uh, in my resources folder over here, I want to include a new texture. So I'm going to need to open up uh, Photoshop and we'll make a really quick little icon texture. All right. So I'm going to make a texture that's 256 by 256. Okay. I'm going to create a new layer over here. And we're just going to make a rounded rectangle type icon. Nothing fancy. All right. I'm just going to maybe give it a little bit of that game tutor orange there, which is a little bit more red. And maybe we put a, an outline around it so we can stroke the, the shape itself. So we'll do a little bit of white there. And then we can give it a, a name. So I can come in here and actually type in 
uh, some text. So let's just say cool icon. All right, now let's place this over here. Make it a little bigger. Bam, now we have an icon. And while we're at it, let's just add a little drop shadow to this as well, just to make it look cool. All right, so then I'm gonna merge these two together and save off the icon there. So we're gonna call this cool icon 01 PNG. And you'll notice that it actually loads up into our resources folder over there. Okay, so I'm gonna set it to the proper sizes. I usually set them to GUI and because it's in editor and we're not gonna actually build this uh, to the game, uh, I'm just gonna set it to true color Hit apply. All right, so now that we've done that, let's, let's go up to this gizmos drop down and let's actually assign our texture to the object. And bam, there you go. We now have a custom icon, all right, and it's selectable. So we can have a, a couple of these objects here. Just make a few of these guys, like so. And you'll notice that they all have their custom icons. All right, so this is a great way to identify if you have a lot of like waypoints or, or a lot of like the same type of objects. So these could just be all waypoints uh, or maybe spawn points and they have their own custom spawn point icon. Just another way to, to clean up your scene and make it easier to find objects and select them. All right, so that is all I wanted to show for lesson two. So in lesson three, we are going to cover some more of the um, built-in features of the on Gizmo and Gizmos drawing. Thanks.